ML has gained prominence over the course of the past few years in risk stratification and therapeutic decision making, as well as in predicting survival for patients with AML. There are multiple ways of testing for AML, uh, for MRD in AML, by either MFC, which is multi-flow parameter flow cytometry, or you know other techniques such as PCR and next-gen sequencing. In this current study, uh, we aim to look at how the MRD testing in AML by MFC would perform on a national um, registry-based level. We looked at the CIBMTR database where we included 131 centers from 2013 to 2019. And ultimately we had 2,544 patients that were included in this study who had AML in CR1 and who underwent allogeneic stem cell transplantation. What we found is that MRD by MFC in AML in this patient population is predictive of overall survival, of uh, um, disease-free survival, as well as of uh, cumulative incidence of relapse, but not treatment-related mortality. Most importantly, the positive predictive value of MRD by MFC in this patient population was about 45%, and the negative predictive value was about 67%. What we found as well is that um, about 16% of patients who relapsed at one year and 14% in the overall cohort had MRD uh, by MFC negative testing prior to stem cell transplantation.